Right. Hello, everybody. We're going to wait for some people to arrive. Um, today's lesson is called Pronounce Perfectly, and it's all about pronunciation. So we're going to be trying to address some problems people have with pronunciation, which can be pretty tricky in English, um, especially just by looking at the words. It's sometimes really difficult to see how to pronounce things. So we're going to be asking a few questions just to start off with. What do you find most difficult about pronunciation in English? Okay, so we've got a few people booked in for this class and we're just going to wait and see if anyone arrives. We have a file which I'm going to use this lesson, so I'm just going to check that that one's up and working. And there we go. Seems to be working pretty well. Excellent. Hello, Ruby. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Amy. It's nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too. This is the first time that I'm taking one of your classes. Well, that's great, Ruby. It's lovely to have you. Um, yes, I've actually only just started teaching on Verbling, so it's still a bit new for me, but going oh, so okay good. so far. <laughs> so, that's Ruby, um, yeah, can you tell me where, where do you live? Well, I'm from Mexico. Mexico. Yes. Oh, I would love to go to Mexico. It's on my list of places to visit. Oh, that's good. There are many places to visit. Oh, there are so many places I want to go to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's nice to meet you anyway, Ruby. And we also okay, have, you. who's just arrived, Tiago. Hi, Tiago. Hey, Emmy. How are you doing nice today? To you I'm great today, thank you. How are you? I'm pretty good, thanks. Excellent. And what time is it over there where you are, Tiago? Uh, it's 10 o'clock p.m. Ah, that's not too bad. I thought it might have been later, but no. Yeah, 10 yeah. o'clock's okay. Yeah. <laughs> what, what time is it in London? Oh, I mean, are you from London? Um, I'm actually currently in New Zealand. Oh, really? Whoa. Yeah. Um, I've been are living you... here for a little while, but I'm British, yeah. All oh, right, yeah. I could hear that in your accent, so that's why I'm asking. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so for <laughs> me, it's actually 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so oh, I'm yeah. going to be having my lunch after this class. <laughs> All right. Thursday, right? <laughs> yes, Thursday. We're ahead of everybody. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you again, Tiago. And who else do we have? We have Hiro or Gyro. Hi, can you hear me, Gyro? Maybe turn up your microphone. Gyro, let me hear. Gyro, there you go. Gyro, yes. And where are you from, Gyro? <laughs> Brazil. Brazil, wonderful. Another South American, uh, which is great. <laughs> um, tell me, Gyro, um, why are you learning English? Um, because uh, there are many things it's uh, available uh, in an ad for research in English. I want to speak English also for translation as oh, well. Okay. <laughs> um, then I love English. <laughs> the second Great! One. <laughs> That's really wonderful. Um, well, I'm also a translator, Gyro, so my other language is Spanish currently, although I'm working on Chinese as well. Oh, All right, okay. and yeah, um, we'll say hi to Yukino. Hi again, Yukino. Hello, nice to see you again. You too. How are you today? Oh, good. Uh, 
uh, except that I, I'm a little sleepy now, <laughs> but okay, I'm okay. What time is it there in Japan? Uh, uh, sorry, to say the truth, I live in Russia now, in Moscow. Oh. Oh, yes. right! So it's okay. five, five o'clock <laughs> in the morning <gasps> in Moscow. My goodness. Are you doing this class before work, Yukino? Yes, yesterday I, I joined your class. I remember. You yesterday remember? it must have been even earlier. 4 a.m.? 5 a.m. Oh, 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's wonderful to see you again. Uh, my pleasure. And Atori, hi. Hello, hello. Hi, Hattori. Nice to see you back again today. Thank you. It's also nice to see you. Great. Okay. Well, um, we will just, um, while we're waiting to see if anyone else arrives, I'm going to ask everybody a question. Um, you know that the class today is called Pronounce Perfectly. And I've just written a question in the chat box. So if you can have a look, I've asked you... What do you find most difficult about pronunciation in English? So if you can just have a think about that just for a few moments, and if you would like to answer the question, um, just go ahead. Otherwise, I'm going to ask you in a minute. So the question is, what do you find most difficult about pronunciation in English? And... Jaira, I've just muted you for a second because there seems to be quite a bit of background noise where you are. So just let me know if you want to speak and I'll unmute you. And while everyone's thinking about that, feel free to type your ideas in the chat box like Tiago has already written one idea. We'll say hi to Selma. Hi, Selma. Mm, hello. How are you? Whereabouts are you from? Well, I'm perfectly great. I'm uh, from Algeria, north of Africa. North of Africa? Wow, I've yeah. never been to Africa. So you are welcome here at any time. And Selma, it's lovely to meet you. Um, can you tell me, why are you learning English? I want to become an international citizen. Wow, that's a great reason. <laughs> that has to be one of the best reasons I've ever heard, I have to say. I want to become an international citizen. I'm very glad to hear that. Well, welcome. Um, we're just talking about the question, what do you find most difficult about English pronunciation? So we're just all having a think about that now. So if you want to also have a think, and um, I'm going to read out some people's ideas. So, most difficult, we have the TH sound. Th, yep, yeah, that's pretty tricky for some native speakers more than others. And sting, you like sting, do you, Tiago? Oh, yeah, I do. It's great. When I understand him. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I think understanding songs, even in Spanish, I find that difficult sometimes. Um, there's lots of different pronunciation barriers are not so strict in songs so that can be tricky but sting good good taste I also like him thank you all right let's have a look to see if anyone else has some ideas Ruby what do you find most difficult it is the sound the first sound as well yes Okay, I think we're it's kind of hard for me because we don't have that sound in Spanish. I think yes, that was okay. All right, so we have the Z sound. Mm -hmm. Muddled up. Sometimes people try and say Z instead of Th. So, good ideas. All right, um, what about... Gyro, what do you find most difficult? Are you there, Gyro?
Hmm. Right, okay, maybe Gyro can't hear me at the moment. What about Atori? Um, that's that's a tough question. Um, there's some some sounds are difficult, but that that's just a matter of practice, I would say. The most difficult thing is, you know, there are some exceptions, and perhaps you can read a sound in many, um, you know, even a word in many different ways, and that I would think it is the most difficult thing. Absolutely. That's a great point you've made. Um, exceptions to the rules. That can be so hard, especially with English. Um, we have so many exceptions that it seems like there aren't really many rules. So um, we're going to focus on that a bit today. All right. E and I sounds. Thank you, Tiago. Great. Selma, what do you find most difficult? For me, what I cannot pronounce properly is when, when, when I have the combination of R and L. R and L. Okay, yes. can you give me an example? A word, for example? Uh, like, for instance, uh, girl and world. All of that. Okay. Words. <laughs> girl, world, etc. All right. Although you just said them very well just then, so I'm not sure if I believe you that you have problems. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and you, Kino, tell me, what do you find most difficult? Uh, me? Yes. Okay. Uh, just call me Yuki, okay? Yuki. Yes. It Thank is, you. It That's easier for me. Easier for me. <laughs> uh, um, I, I feel the same as Selma. Uh, I... Um, most of, most of Japanese uh, feel difficulties uh, of pronouncing uh, l uh, or l yeah. or so uh, uh, besides uh, I, I, I it is difficult to pronounce e e sound I mm, e sound okay all right so we have e and a r e l yes. Yes, E, yes. And E, do you mean I um, or E? And e. I, I, I'm, I feel difficult, I feel difficult to, to pronounce. Uh, it is difficult. I, I found the difficulty to um, distinguish. I, I, I feel difficult to distinguish between uh, long E and short E. Right, okay. Long Thank you, Yuki. Yes. Um, who else has just arrived? Nicholas has just arrived. Hi, Nicholas. Hi, how are you? Hi, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Argentina. Argentina, another Spanish speaker. Welcome. <laughs> um, we're just discussing the question, what we find most difficult about English pronunciation. Um, so if you just have a think about that, I might ask you again in a second. I'm just going to go now to... Yutisu? Hello. Hi Ooh. again, how are you? Uh, I'm great. Great. Do you have some any particular difficulties with pronunciation? Um, I, I don't think so. <laughs> Wonderful, so you're a perfect pronouncer. Okay. <laughs> you, you are too... You are, um, you are too nice. <laughs> All right, you too, Sue. Well, hopefully just this lesson in general will help you. Um, so, Nicholas, is there anything that you find particularly difficult about pronouncing? Um, if we are talking about a word or something like that, yeah, I... just in general. I was having a completely bad row with the word girl. <laughs> Girl, another person who finds it hard to pronounce girl. All right, we're going to have to practice that today. Okay, long L and short L. Right, okay, Yuki, thank you. All right, so um, everybody, welcome. We're going to get started now with um, a file that I've, I've uploaded. Now, I hope that you've actually got it today. Um, I did try and upload the other one yesterday, but I'm going to screen share anyway. So let's have a quick look now. If you can take a look 
at um, the top of this page, we've got pronounced perfectly. And in case you want to keep in touch with me, there's my Facebook address. Now, you will see a poem. This is a very tricky poem just written to practice pronunciation. And I don't have the whole poem. It's very long. Um, but we're actually going to start today at the bottom of this sheet. So I'm just going to scroll down. And um, we have, we're going to look at things to remember, first of all. So pronouncing is obviously a pretty important part of, of speaking a language. Uh, because if you can't pronounce the words you've learnt, then you can't really communicate properly. So, um, some people find it easier than others, and I think some native languages, for example, Spanish speakers find things difficult that Japanese speakers don't, and vice versa, because of the way your brain is trained when you're younger to pronounce the sounds of your own language. But the good thing um, to know is that it is possible to learn how to pronounce sounds that you have not normally used. And um, oftentimes in language classes, um, not really enough emphasis is placed on pronunciation. Um, all it is really is a matter of knowing how to arrange your mouth muscles to get the correct sound. And although some sounds are trickier, with practice it's possible to pronounce just as good as a native speaker, or nearly as good. Okay, so let's have a look at the things to remember. Um, and have a, have a look, see. Nicholas, um, could you please read out number one? Um, choose your accent or something like that? Or? Yes, choose your accent. Exactly. What do I mean by choose your accent, Nicholas? I, I don't have a clue. No I idea? <laughs> no. <laughs> right. no problem. Um, right. In English, there are several different accents which oh, yeah. are predominant in the world. Yep, can you name any of them? Anybody? Uh, Scottish, Aussie accent. Yep. American. Mm. Yep. The British. English. What? British. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Cockney. Pardon? Cockney. Can you type that for me, Uchisu? Okay. Uh. So we've got Scottish, American, Australian, uh -huh. Hannah Cockney, thank you. <laughs> Jamaican. <laughs> Jamaican, uh, okay. Can I say that Afro-Americans have a very particular accent? Afro Absolutely, yep. Afro-Americans. Um, Within each country, there's definitely several different accents. So in the USA, um, you've got a, a very distinctive Afro-American accent. You have Southern USA. You have Yankee or Northern USA. And I'm not an expert on this, but I'm sure there are much, uh, a lot of different varieties even between the states. Um, yo, yo, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for all these ideas. Um, in the UK, there's very, very distinctive differences between North and South. Then we have the different countries, Welsh, Scottish, um, and Irish English, and we do also have the Southern Hemisphere, which is where I am at the moment, New Zealand, and we also mentioned Australia. Okay. Um, I would say that the two main accents um, that you need to be concerned about are American, general neutral American and Britain. Okay, so um, when you're learning English you're bound to have quite a few different teachers and what happened to me, to give an example, thank you Yuki, is um, when I was learning Spanish um, I had teachers from Spain and I had teachers from different parts of Latin America and Spanish speakers will know that those two variants of Spanish are quite different. Um, all you need to do um, is to decide, okay, when I speak English, I'm going to focus on a certain accent. Now, I would choose either American or British. 
and you can base your decision on preference, whichever you prefer, on one that you find easier, um, on the country that you're most likely to visit, it doesn't really matter. But I would recommend that you choose one and you stick to it, okay? Choose. Pronunciation of English is, there are two, those are the two main areas and there's quite a bit, bit of difference between the two. Um, if you pronounce some words or use some vocabulary from American English and then contrast it with British pronunciation, it just sounds a bit confusing. You'll probably be confused yourself. If you live in one of those countries, um, it will be much easier and you will absorb uh, the local speak. So let's just have a look and see. Has anyone actually ever thought about this before? Atori, what kind of English do you feel you speak with? Uh, no English accent, with Italian accent. <laughs> <Not a variety. laughs> uh, no, well, it's, it is somehow, it is true what, what you just said. Um, uh, personally, I, I, you know, I like to, to many teachers from all of from from different places and they have different accents. So that, that it's it's somewhat hard to choose, you know, because when you take a class with another teacher then he or she would have another accent. And Absolutely. you some you somehow get influenced by them, you know? I completely understand what you're saying. Yes. Now the reason why I'm suggesting that you do this is um, not so much about the idea that you'll change teachers because you need to be able to understand English spoken by lots of different people. Um, but when you're focusing on practicing your pronunciation and if you have high goals, if you want to be able to pronounce really easily and well, then this will help you. Choosing an accent just for your own personal pronunciation and sticking with it will make things a lot simpler when you're trying to practice words, okay? Especially mm -hmm. um, with those difficult words because American pronunciation, English or British pronunciation does differ quite a bit in some ways. So this is what I suggest you do. Um, is anyone, let's see, Selma, would you say that you have chosen an accent or had you not thought about this before? Well, I'd like to maintain uh, the uh, American accent. Mm -hmm. But for me, uh, I think uh, when I read, maybe I have some slight uh, American accent, but when I speak, I know that I am speaking with an Algerian accent. Excellent. Okay, it's great to recognize what your English is like. Um, and it does take a while uh, before you sound exactly like a person from there. Um, so really what I'm saying with accent is just... Um, the differential pronunciation between certain words at this point. And you'll find that if you live in an English-speaking country, it will gradually uh, absorb into your system. All right, so that's just point number one. Can I number ask you two. something? Absolutely, Atori. That's something I, I was, I've been always thinking about. Um, for example, we have, you know, also American uh, words and British English words. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that a mistake we often do is to to mix them. Do you think it is very bad or very bad issue? I mean, very bad mistake. Okay. For example, if in an essay I I would write some British words or then some American words. How bad is that? You're asking me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, good question, Atori. Um, okay, it's not bad. It's not bad because every English speaker will understand what you're saying. Um, I can understand Americans perfectly, okay, even though I use British words myself. Um, where it becomes a problem depends on the circumstance or the situation. It really depends um, what, what the essay is for. If you have high goals if you would like to become a translator for example or if you are um, I don't know using your English in in situations that are very formal or very important then I'd say this is quite important for you um, as well as choosing your accent try to use the words that the people in that country use so just to give you a really obvious example 
Um, if you wish, you wouldn't say elevator. You would say lift. Um, but it's not bad. If you make that kind of mistake, I'm sure I make it all the time in Spanish uh, because words get swapped between countries all the time. So don't worry too much about that. But but if you begin to no notice it in yourself, um, the way to correct that is just to decide, okay, I'm going to use American English from now on, and then just use those words, and gradually it will just happen naturally. Thank you very much. No problem. All right, so we'll go on to, to number two. Um, number two, Selma, please read it for us. Uh, regularity of practice. Okay, beautifully read. Um, what do I mean by that? You have to practice your English speaking, your spoken English uh, occasionally or whenever you have the chance. Excellent, yep. Um, okay, if you have problems with pronunciation, the only way that you are going to improve is by practicing regularly. Um, this is very important because what happens is that once you say a word the way that your brain works, it needs to be reinforced often. So even if you decide, okay, I'm going to practice my English pronunciation for the next month, it would be better for you to practice for two minutes every day than it would to spend an hour one day and then wait for two weeks before you have more time. So if you are committed to improving your pronunciation, regularity, which means, um, and also, should I say, uh, frequently, so every day, every two days, twice a day if you can, even if it's a really short time, you'll make much more progress than if you spend a huge amount of time but only do it once in a while. Um, and that's just a tip that I'm going to pass on to you now. Um, does anyone have any experience? Has, does anyone actually ever practice pronunciation solely by itself? I do. Yeah. You do, Nicholas? How do you find, what do you do when you practice your pronunciation? Well, I learn, I learn how to pronounce my, how to pronounce words uh, while speaking. How do you learn them? Do you well, listen first? Yeah. yeah, by listening to uh, above all British people because okay. you know I aim in at British people, uh, British accent, mm -hmm. and um, then I just you know when I know when I have a word learned, I write it, I write the definition in English and the translation into Spanish, uh, my la my language, and then I just practice alone. Sometimes I speak alone. That's really bad. But I speak alone just to, you know, acquire the meaning and to know when to apply that uh, that word. You know. Thank you. Thank you, Nicholas, for sharing that with us. Um, you mentioned that you practice alone. That is actually one of the best things to do. Um, do you know what I do? Um, to practice my Spanish, I try to read something out loud in Spanish every morning. And you feel really silly, um, but it really helps. It helps your mouth. Because does anyone ever find after they've been speaking English for a bit, oh, they get an, a sore jaw or their mouth hurts and uh, it feels like you've stretched it all in the wrong place? The more you practice, the more regularly you do that, the easier it becomes. Thank you, um, Nicholas. I spend uh, quite uh, many time to train uh, pronunciation for myself. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can, Yukino. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, video on YouTube uh, help me uh, very much. I, I, I recommend you see the, uh, see the video uh, called Rachel's English. Do you know? Sorry, could you repeat what's it called? Rachel's English. Can you type that for me? Rachel's yes, it English. Is, it is very uh, famous uh, person <laughs> for for um, for teaching for teaching pronunciation. I Excellent. think it, it, it very 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 much uh, helped me. Uh, 
I, I, I study English from my uh, from, uh, from my, uh, my senior school almost 30 years maybe <laughs> so but uh, but uh, I, I I didn't know how to pronounce correctly uh, mm -hmm. before so <laughs> Thank you. Well, Rachel's English, I'm going to have to look that up. I have yes. heard of it, Yuki, but I've never looked it up yeah. after today's it, class. It's very famous. I, I, I strongly recommend you, all, 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 of, all of you. Very, <laughs> Thank very good. you, Yuki. Ha, although it, it is American, American pronunciation, so <laughs> maybe if you want to master British English, <laughs> maybe it is not for you. <laughs> all right. But, well, no, 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 that was a joke. I obviously am um, total support of American English as well. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you, Yuki. Um, okay, so, so we're going to go now on to point number three. Um, who can I ask to read this? Um, Tiago, we haven't heard from you for a second. Would you be able to read out number three, please, Tiago? Is he still there? Can you hear me, Tiago? Oh, no, okay, never mind. Um, all right, number three is learn how to pronounce new words straight away. So if you come across a word while you're reading and you have no idea how to pronounce it, do not guess, okay? This is one of the worst mistakes you can make. You guess um, you might be pronouncing that word wrong for the rest of your English speaking life. So go to one <laughs> of these websites and listen and try and copy the, the person on the um, video. And the reason I'm telling you this is because this is what I have done in the past and with Spanish words and then I have a problem for the rest of the time working out which is it my fake pronunciation or the real one and I can't get it right. So and wordreference.com, ah, oh, a great website. That's True, Nicola. Thank you. Okay, number four is simply imitate. Um, can anyone tell me what imitate means? To mimic. Thank you. Mimic. That means copy. Like an idiot when you do this, but don't worry. Just close the door in your bedroom and ignore your flatmates and uh, practice repeating after YouTube videos and this will help you a lot. Um, number five is listen. Okay, so it's not all about speaking. Um, you have to actually listen to how it sounds before you speak. Okay, so don't miss out that vital step. Listen really carefully and then when you say it, listen to how you sound. If you compare those two, a good way is to record yourself as you can see in number six you'll recognize straight away some of the mistakes that you have okay does anyone have any other helpful tips before we have a practice speak to yourself great I agree you Tisu thank you talk to yourself excellent and talk. you sound crazy but don't worry talk when you go everywhere yep can you explain that a bit more for example, you are walking on the street or shopping. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and if anyone sees someone walking down the street talking to yourself, then you know it's Yu Chi Su. Okay. <laughs> Talk to yourself all the time. Great. Thank you. Any take classes on verbling, obviously. Any other tips? Thanks, Satori, for that one. Yeah, welcome. All right. If anyone thinks of anything while we're doing the next part, um, just type them in the box and we'll all have a good look before we go today. So let's pop a page now. <laughs> hmm. Now we have a poem. And at the beginning of the class, who was it who said the most difficult thing was um, deciding how to pronounce a word when there are more than possible, more than one possible choice. There's more than one possible choice. Um, let me see. I can't remember who it was, but somebody said um, 
one of their problems was that in English there are several words that um, have different pronunciations depending oh, on the I meaning. Said. Ah, thank you, Tori. Right, okay. So, for example, if you can just look at the chat box for that word that I've just typed. Any guesses? Don't be shy. I won't be mean or anything. What? Can can everyone see the word that I've just typed? Yes, tear. How do you pronounce tear? Okay. Tear is one possible pronunciation. Thank you. And a tear is what happens when um, you cry. Tear. Tear. It, it, if it's a verb, tear. Tear. Yes, exactly. So there are two options. Tear, which is when you cry, or tear, the verb, to rip something. Okay. So let's have a little practice. I would like each of you to say tear. Followed by tear. Atori, you're up first. Mm, tear. Tear. Perfect. Gyro, are you there? Yes. Can you say tear followed by tear? Perfect. Well done. Easy peasy. Nicholas. Tear, tear. Ah, oh, easy for you, Selma. Tear, tear. Perfect. Sergio. Are you there? No? All right, we'll move on to Tiago. Tear, tear. Beautiful American pronunciation. Yuchisu. Uh, tear, tear. Thank you. That was more British. And Yukino, Yuki. Yes. Tear, tear. Very good. Well done, everybody. Okay, the first test is over. You can all breathe a sigh of relief. Um, we're going to read out the poem in just a second. Before we do, what I want to do is practice those sounds that you had difficulty with at the beginning. So we're going to start with th. And the words I want you to say with th are th and what. Okay, now before we say it, I just want you to all put your tongue in between your teeth so it's poking out like this. And practice blowing some air from behind so you can go th Okay, everybody practice. All right, you're looking. We're all looking very silly. Um, oh, okay, sorry, Sergio, your connection's bad. All right, so now we're all going to practice saying it together. We're going to say three and thought. So, Atori, you're up first. Okay, uh, three and thought. Very good, that sounds good to me. Um, gyro, three, thought. Thank you. I can only hear you if you can speak up a tiny bit. Um, Nicholas. Three thought. Perfect. Selma. Three thought. Also perfect. Tiago. Three thought. Perfect. Yuchisu. Uh, three thought. Good. Yuki. Three thought. <laughs> Very good. Now, the thing to remember is that you need a lot of air coming out for those sounds, okay? So you've got to really go and, you know, um, try not to spit at anyone when you do it. Okay, excellent. Okay. All right, now what other words do we have here? Let me have a quick look back. We have the Z sound. Ruby, is Ruby still with us? I think Ruby may have gone. Um, Nicholas, what about boys and voice? What do you mean? Can you explain that for me? Uh, I wish I could see your lips while you pronounce the first voice and the second voice because I don't know. Okay, that. absolutely. I'm going to take off the file and there you go. Thank you for that. Um, okay, we're going to practice the R L now. So the words that we're going to have are girl, 
and curl. Okay. Right, the L sound in English. Um, I'm just going to explain to you where to put your tongue in your mouth when you need to pronounce this. So, um, what you need to do, girl, is that you need to curl your tongue upwards so that it touches the roof of your mouth. Um, and you need a word to help you with this. So if you say the word girl, on the all, you can see my tongue is touching yeah. just behind my teeth. Okay? I see it. And the same with curl. Curl, girl. Okay. Now, with American pronunciation, this is slightly more difficult because the R sound is different. And this is where it becomes tricky if you haven't decided which accent. You can see when I say girl, that the R just comes from the back of my mouth. There is no R sound. With American, if I try to imitate it, it's girl, girl, or curl. And you have to use your tongue to use the R sound before you get to the L, but we'll just focus on the L for now. So, Tiago, you're up first. Girl, world, curl. Uh, I beg your pardon, Emmy. Could you repeat that? Yes, sure. Um, I would like everyone to repeat these words, and we'll start with a Tory, please. Okay. So the words are girl, world, curl. Okay. Girl. Let's try it. Sorry. No worries. So girl, world, and curl. Okay, curl. Well done, Atori, that was perfect. Well done. Um, gyro, nice and loud. Word and girl. Very good, perfect. Thank you, Gyro. Uh, <laughs> okay, and Nicholas. Okay, this is difficult. Um, girl, world, curl. Perfect, Nicholas. Um, okay. That's absolutely perfect. No comments. Selma. Thank you. Uh, girl, word, curl. Very good. Try to get your girl and your curl to rhyme. The exact same sound. Just try one more time. Uh, girl, curl, uh, curl. Perfect. There you go. So all it is a matter of is making sure your tongue is in the right position. Okay? That was great. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Tiago. Girl, world, curl. Perfect American English. Thank you very much for providing that example for me. Um, Yuchisu. Um, girl, world, curl. Perfect. And Yuki? Yes. Girl, world, curl. Well done. Just don't forget the D on... So, sorry? Don't forget I... the D. The D at the end of world. 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 Yes, that's better. Mm. Well okay. done. Well done. Okay, now obviously when you're only saying three words, it's easier to get it right. Um, but... The best thing to do is to practice the sounds that you find most difficult so that when you're speaking, it's much easier for it to pop out of your mouth and sound perfect. All right, um, I think we're going to now go to the poem. And I would like to choose, um, let me see, I think Tiago has to have won the pronunciation competition so far. So I'm going to get him to read the first verse of the poem as his prize. Tiago, congratulations. Would you be um, able to read verse number one, please? Take it nice and slowly, okay? Are you there, Tiago? 
Yeah, Emmy, could you repeat that? I'm sorry. <laughs> sure. Um, no. It's just that. Oh, okay. No worries. Um, I was wondering, since that your pronunciation was so good, would you be open to reading verse number one of the poem for us, please? Oh, sure. I'll try. Okay. Thank you. Just before you start, everybody else, I just want you to listen to Tiago. If you notice that he has mispronounced a word, I'm going to ask you afterwards. So just listen carefully and we'll see how he goes. Okay, off you go, Tiago, when you're ready. All right. Uh, dearest creature in creation, study English pronunciation. I'll teach you in my verse. Sounds like corpse, corpse, horse, and worse. I'll keep you, Susie, busy. Make your head with heat grow dizzy. Tear in tear in eye. Your dress will tear. So shall I, or? hear my prayer. <laughs> Thank you, great. Tiago. Okay. Right, did anyone notice that Tiago made a mistake in that? There was one word that he said wrong. Did anyone recognize it? But then he repeated it, right? You mean yeah. tear and tear? Yeah. No, that's not actually the word, um, Nicholas, but Did thank you. No. Pardon? Did he? No. Dizzy. Busy? No, that's correct. Busy rhymes with dizzy. That was perfect. Well done. Uh, I think he it was worse. He said worse and it was worse. Right? Okay. That's very, very clever of you. Yes, horse does not rhyme with worse. However, I could still pick up the difference. There is actually one word still. Anyone know what it was? Mm, maybe heat. Heat. No, it was that was okay. Dearest. dearest, I really didn't. Know. You did amazingly well, Tiago. This is very tricky. Okay, nope, I'm going to give up. And the actual word that you pronounced wrong was this word here. Does anyone know how to pronounce that? Does anyone know what it means? <laughs> um, it's uh, a military Oops. unit. Something yes. Like Okay, and the pronunciation, everybody, for this word is actually core. Huh? Core. Core. Yep, it sounds exactly the same as that. Okay, so that's a bit of a trick one. Um, it's a military unit, yes, um, in the army. An army core. An army core. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Tiago. And who's up next? I'm going to ask Nicholas to read the next verse. Please. Are you still there, Nicholas? Okay, okay. Thank you. Oh. Um, just compare heart, bird, and heard, dice and diet, lord and word, sword and sword, retain and written. Uh, mind the letter, how it's written. Now I surely will not plague you with such words as plague an egg. Mm. But be careful how you speak. Say brick and stick, but blick and streck. Uh, cloven, oven, how and low. Script, recipe, uh, show, poem and toe. Mm. Well done. Thank you very much, Nicholas. <laughs> okay. Difficult, I'll say. This is probably the most difficult poem in the whole world to pronounce, so you're doing well. Right, let's have another look at the poem. And any... <laughs> Nicholas, that was you didn't make that many mistakes. Right, any comments? Which words did he mispronounce? Um, I think heart. Um, I think heart was nearly right, but you've just pronounced it so thank you. The word is heart. Yep. Any other comments? Plague. Plague. Very good. Yep. Plague was actually correct, but the word that follows after it with a Q, does anyone know how to pronounce that word? I don't know. No? Does anyone know what that actually means? About teeth. 
Yes, thank you, Yu Chi. So, do you know how to pronounce it? Uh, the the last one or plaque? P L yeah plaque exactly right. Okay, you can either say plaque or you can say plark, which rhymes. So it's up to you, and it's that stuff on your teeth that you get if you don't brush your teeth. Okay. Yes. <laughs> well done. Okay, now there was one more. Did anyone notice which one it was? Oh, actually, two. Two, sorry. No. Okay. How to... Gyro? Hi, teacher. Yes. Hi. Read it? Ah, just a second. No, I thought that you had another. I thought that you had another word. So just a moment. Just a moment. We're still working on verse number two. Thank okay. you, Yuki, for those wonderful um, um, your typing that you've done there to help everyone pronounce it. Because I'm not familiar with those. Not very familiar. Um, how do we pronounce the word in the chat box there? B e a r d. Beard. Thank you. Who was that? Beard is it's a, uh, Ah, thank you, Yuki. Mm. Yep, beard is the correct pronunciation, and it does not rhyme with herd, even though it looks like it does. Okay, so a beard is this thing here that men grow, not girls. Um, okay, the last one was this, which we actually had a similar word yesterday in our lesson. How do we pronounce this? The sheep. Thank you, Yuki. Yes, correct. Receipt. Receipt. What is a receipt? Yuki. Document. Document when when um document when you pay the pay the money. Yeah. When you 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 receive when after after you pay the paid the money. Exactly right. Um. So when you buy something in a shop. You get a piece of paper saying what you bought and the amount. That's a receipt. There is no p sound, so receipt. Okay. Thank you so much, Nicholas. That was amazing. That was a very difficult verse. Do、yeah. I have a volunteer for verse number three? A volunteer. Don't be shy. You're all doing amazingly. Can I? Can I help you? Yuki, yes, please. Number three, off you go. Billet does not rhythm with ballet. Banquet, wallet, mallet, chalet, blood, blood and flood are not not like food. No is mold like should should and would. Vicious. Discount, road and broad, toward, to forward, to reward, and your pronunciations okay. When you correctly say crooked, round it, round it, wound, wound it, grieve and sieve, friend and fiend, alive and live. Thank you, Yuki. Now that was、Discount. the toughest verse yet. Well、yes. done. Well done. Okay, <laughs> comments. Which words did he mispronounce, if any? Maybe many <laughs> mistakes. Anyone? Anyone? No. I made many mistakes. I know. Okay, Yuki. Did you do you know which mistakes you made? Which words did、I'm, you not know?、I'm, Billet, billet, maybe. Billet is actually correct. Billet correct. is correct. Yep.、Mm, uh, I, I feel this kind of ah、uh, ah、uh, bis bis count bis count. Very good. Okay, stop、mm, there. Viscous, I don't know this word. All right. Correct. Viscous means thick. It means a thick liquid. Ah.、Oh. Um. Viscous. Yes. Pronunciation. Viscous. Viscous. A second one. Viscount. 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 
おいはい、おいマイクおいマイクバイカウントおおタフワン Does anyone know that? Okay <laughs> All right A viscount is not a very common word Okay It's just、um, a word for a nobleman And you don't need to worry about that one too much Thank you Yuki So viscous and I don't know how to pronounce this word. No? Mom, you can...、uh, when, when you type, typing, when you are typing, you are sound、uh, pause. Ah, okay.、So、we, we can't hear your voice、uh, partly. Thank you for telling me that, Yuki. <laughs> <laughs> okay.、Um, so, can you see the word I've just typed? It's bouquet. 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 Ah, bouquet. Bouquet. No T. Ah, bouquet. Bouquet, yes. Bouquet. What is a bouquet? Bouquet is a flower. Very flower. good. A bunch of flowers. Thank you, Yuki. Perfect. A bunch of flowers. A bouquet of flowers. All right, there's、uh, one more, I think. Okay, and this one? Crockett. Okay, this is similar to bouquet, and you do not pronounce the T. So. Croquet. Anyone? Croquet. Croquet. Excellent. Croquet. <laughs> What is croquet? Do I know you two? Game? Croquet. Croquet. It's a game、uh, yes, which, a which game. play elder people. <laughs> which、oh. elder people play. Yes, thank you. Yuki, I think I have to give you the prize for knowing the most vocabulary. Well done. No, 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 not, not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so croquet. Really well done.、Um, I think, to be honest, Yuki, the rest of them were, were basically correct. There may be one more.、Mm-hmm. And this is the same of, as the two we've just had. Another French word. Chalet. Yes, thank you. Chalet. Thank、You're、you very、French. much, guys. <laughs> What does it mean? What does it mean? Nicholas, can you explain it?、Um, the chalet?、Mm, yeah. It's like a. I don't know how to say it.、Um, a house made out of wood or something like that?、Oh. Exactly. Yep.、Oh. It's basically just a house that normally we talk about、um, being in Europe. We don't really have chalets in England,、oh. and I don't think they have them in America either. We often talk about them as a holiday house. A holiday house.、Oh. Is it a French word?、Yeah. Yes.、Mm. But it's, it's, it's originally a French word as bouquet and croquet, but they are so used in, in English, they are also English words now, okay? Okay. All right. Now we have to finish in a few minutes.、Um, What I would like to ask is that I would be willing to put up a video on YouTube、um, of me reading the poem with perfect. Pronunciation. If you would like to、um, practice this later on by yourself, then you can look at the poem and listen to me reading it out. So I'll do that in about half an hour or so. Are there any more questions about pronunciation、um, before we end this class? Does anyone want to ask anything else or practice any more sounds? Am I going to schedule more classes? <laughs> yes. Atori, now,、um, for those of you who were here yesterday, I told you that I'm actually moving to Spain on Monday. So I'm going to have the next two weeks off. I'm going to be moving across the other side of the world. So I'm going to schedule some more classes in two weeks. Okay, I'm sorry for the break, everybody,、um, but I can't work at the same time as moving. So look out for me.、Um, Just to the end of September, okay? 
No, I said, I said it in Spanish. I said it in Spanish. Que la pases bien. <laughs> ah, gracias. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any more questions? Teacher, um, let me ask you. Um, I see this poem. Uh, all of the words you contain in this poem, it's used in English in, in our day, or it's available, or someone then disappear. Uh, sorry for the break, everybody, uh, but I can't work at the same time as moving. So look out for me um, just the end of September, okay? Okay, I'm just going to mute you, Jiso, for a sec. Sorry, Jiso. Um, just because it was echoing my voice. Okay, the answer to your question, Gyro, um, is... Is he still here? Yes. Um, the words... If you find this poem on the internet, there are, I think, ten verses and some of the words in it are no longer used or very uncommon but I have picked the verses which contain the useful vocabulary so yes all of these words are still used and are common in the verses I have on my file if you find the original poem it's available on the internet you'll find other verses which contain some words that aren't so useful but I deleted them from my copy okay Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks. Atori, thank you for coming and good luck with your class. Thanks. Thank you. Thank right. you for interesting Bye -bye. class. <laughs> thank good you, class. Yuki. Could you have a good time? Thank you, you very much. Thank you, everybody, and I'll see you soon in two weeks' time. Okay. You are energetic. You are energetic, good teacher. Thank you, Yuki. You're an energetic student. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not true. <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> Good fire for you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gyro. <laughs> All right. Take care, See everybody. You. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.